morning guys what's up welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new it's literally 10 30 a.m because i suck and i didn't feel like getting up this morning so i slept in a little bit my legs are literally killing me um from yesterday's leg workout but you know i told you guys i was getting back into it this week so i still had to go to the gym even though it's 10 30 so i'm like so late but let's do this Seventy-seven calories not bad for an upper body day at all that was actually really tough I'm trying to push myself harder with upper body because I'm starting to notice some definition in my shoulders and my biceps and I've never ever had that like so it's really cool to see that progress so I'm trying to push myself even harder so that you know I don't lose that I continue to build that muscle because super exciting well i am back home now obviously looking cute as ever i just decided to do a quick little clay mask this has to sit on for like 25 minutes though so it's really not quick um but i need to exfoliate my face and this is my favorite way to do it i also just got out of the shower exfoliated and shaved every inch of me so i'm gonna self tan tonight i think i'm gonna actually just go spray tan because i'm too lazy to self tan and it's easier so Let's go get a spray tan because I'm shooting content tomorrow and I want to be tan for it. I actually had so much leftover spray tan from my last one, but it sprayed on so uneven for some reason that I just decided to exfoliate it all off, even though it was like really harsh on my skin. My skin's super soft now. And yes, I have glasses on over top of this face mask and it's all over my glasses, but it's like the only way that I can do a face mask because otherwise I won't be able to see. I don't have my contacts in yet. Anyways, okay, I put some makeup on, didn't fill my eyebrows in because I actually have an eyebrow tinting appointment in a little bit. It's actually in like an hour, so I need to get moving. Um, but I have printed all of my shipping labels out. I'm about to pack up these orders, and then Chad and I are going to head out and go to Costco to get gas, go get my eyebrows tinted, and then we have to go grocery shopping. <laughs> later but I just got my eyebrows tinted they look so good I'm like obsessed with getting them tinted now because I feel like it makes the biggest difference aside from just doing your regular like plucking and I'll still fill them in a little bit but I feel like it's less work because they're already darker so I really just have to like fill in any little spaces Chad and I are about to go grocery shopping really quick we're gonna go to Publix and 
just get our groceries and then I have to go get my nails done later today because I'm taking pictures tomorrow, I told you guys. And I broke this nail and I just have not been loving the color that I went with. Um, and I, did I even tell you I already broke the nail? We are back home and I thought I would do a little grocery haul for you guys before I put all of this away. So we got more of the sparkling water, but this time we got bubbly because it was on sale. So we got the lime and the blackberry. We've had the lime before, but the blackberry we've never had. So I'm really excited to try that. Um, I got more half and half oat milk. I got a Starbucks iced coffee, the blonde roast. I used to drink this all the time. I haven't had it in a while and I just kind of thought it sounded good when I just want a coffee that's like ready to go. So I got that. And then we got broccoli. I got a salad from Simply Fresh. It's like my favorite salad brand. Got the Caprice one this time. And then some lettuce. We got strawberries, apples, grapes, bananas, sweet potatoes, a pepper. And then I got two yogurts. These are my favorite. I like making chia seed pudding with these or doing like little yogurt bowls. Got two little cheese snacks. These are like really good. Sharp white cheddar and medium cheddar. And then my Cascadian Farm cereal that I'm obsessed with with buy one get one free. So I got two of those. And then uh, some oatmeal. And then we got some ground chicken and regular chicken breasts for dinner. And then my favorite Prosecco is this La Marca Prosecco, you guys. If you are a white wine girl and you like bubbly, you have to try this. It is honestly like my favorite. It's always my, been my go-to, um, but seriously, it's so good. We got some sesame sauce, peanut butter, and then some sugar in the raw packets for my coffee because I just miss having these. If you've been around for a while, you know like I used to always use these over regular sugar and I just kind of miss having them like sectioned out in the little packets it's also easier for me to track when I track my food anyway that is everything I'm gonna put all this away now I'm back in the car again and I'm heading to go get my nails done and I did not make an appointment so I'm really hoping that they can take me right away and it doesn't end up being a wait I never ever go get my nails done at this time it's literally five I always usually go in the morning or like late morning early afternoon so I feel like it might be busier at this time. I don't really know, but let's just hope it's not because I need to get them done really quick and I don't want to end up having to wait because I still have more stuff that I have to do at home. This day just like flew by. I don't even know where the time went. Just finished getting my nails done and it's literally like dark out now. I watched the sun go down as I was in there. I mean, starting to go down. It's not completely dark, but it's like way darker out and I'm just shocked like I can't believe how fast today went by anyways I did go with a nude color this is actually a little lighter than the other nude that I went with um, but we have a nice fresh set of almond nails and they look so pretty and I'm so happy I feel like a brand new woman again back home now and Chad has made us dinner chicken lettuce wraps for dinner we've made this recipe a couple of times and I can't link it because Chad learned this at the fire station but it's really simple it's pretty much just rice and ground chicken with like sesame sauce and some peppers in it and then we put sesame seeds on top but we haven't done that yet and walnuts and walnuts good morning guys it's the next day and i'm coming to you from where else other than the starbucks drive through <laughs> and i am getting my coffee really quick this morning and then i have to go to target actually because i have a photo shoot later today and it's like really cute spring summer stuff and so i need to get an all-white bikini to shoot this stuff in and of course today in florida it's like cold hence why i'm wearing this so i'm gonna freeze but i have to get this content but I'm so excited for these new arrivals. You guys are gonna die. It's so cute. I just can't wait. I have really cute sandals coming and then I have some cute like beachy themed jewelry and some linen shorts and then this really cute like knit beige top. I mean all like really pretty neutrals. Also very exciting. I tried the new uh, oat milk espresso iced brown sugar drink from Starbucks and it is amazing but I get mine half sweetened but I seriously cannot tell you guys enough how amazing it is. I'm obsessed is like my new favorite drink and I really hope they don't get rid of it but even aside from that I'm just so happy that Starbucks finally has oat milk I know that some Starbucks in like other countries and stuff or other states maybe have had it but Florida has not had it and now we finally have the option of getting oat milk 
and oat milk is my favorite in coffee. It's just amazing. I love the taste of it. So I'm so excited that they finally have oat milk so I can get my regular drinks with oat milk now instead of almond milk, you know? It's great. The little things that matter. I'm like sitting here wondering why my butt is so toasty and it's because I had my heated seat turned on last night and it just like stayed on today. <laughs> so I'm like, why is my butt so warm? I'm at Target now and I've got my coffee. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you haven't tried it, just stop what you're doing and go get one. It's so good. I, as you guys know, don't like my drinks super sweet, so I always get it half sweetened whenever I do like one of the pre-made drinks. It's not something I created myself. So um, yeah, I just do two pumps instead of four and it's amazing. I love the taste of brown sugar. Like when I was younger and I would eat Pop-Tarts, the brown sugar one was always my favorite. And this is just like brown sugar coffee. It goes so well together. I don't know why like they didn't come out with this sooner. It's amazing. But I always get afraid when I really like a drink from Starbucks because I worry that they will only have it temporarily. Like I fall in love with a drink and then it's off the menu in a few months and then I'm like distraught. So hopefully that doesn't happen. First stop is always the dollar section and I've already found a few really cute little spring things to decorate the house. And this actually just reminded me because I'm seeing like eggs and Easter stuff. The Easter is coming and I have Easter decorations. I need Chad to get out of the attic so I can decorate. I'm very tempted to buy stuff but I forget what I already have so I don't want to get anything, you know what I mean, if I already have it. The last thing I need but this is very, very cute. Three dollars. Oh, they have blue light blocking glasses now too. Cute little clear ones. Some tortoise ones. Actually, I really like these. Carrot patch. Oh my gosh. I need to get out of here. Just, I love everything said every girl every time at Target. I found this really cute wooden sign and I decided to get one. It's actually double-sided but I'm gonna use the white side and I'm gonna use my Cricut and create like a little graphic. I'm thinking like something related to Sun Bunny, maybe even just my logo. It'd be really really cool. Oh my gosh lord help me. I do not need another loungewear set but like literally tie-dye matching pants and the shirt. I really want to get this. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Walk away. These are my favorite candles from Target because first of all, they're so pretty. They're honestly like anthropology candles for half the price. And I already smelled this one, driftwood and sea salt. Yes, it smells good, so I'm getting it. I am back home now and it is quite a while later. I'm actually in the middle of cleaning. I just laid in my bed for like several hours and worked on my laptop because I've been having really bad cramps today, you know, it's that time of the month for me. And the only thing that ever works for my cramps is my heating pad. Like anytime I take ibuprofen or Tylenol, I've tried like the period specific medications, like nothing ever works. I just have to have the heating pad. It's the only thing, I don't know why. But Alyssa and Ivan are coming over tonight for a game night. We're gonna play Catan again, and I'm like obsessed with this game. Chad's the one who showed it to us. He taught us all how to play last week, so they're coming over and we're playing again tonight, and I am so excited to play. Um, we're probably gonna do like pizza or Chinese or something, just order in. Um, so I'm just cleaning up the house so they can come over tonight and it not be a wreck in here. It is now almost 10.30 and Alyssa and Ivan just left. We had 
The best night, we ordered Chinese for dinner and we played a game of Catan which lasts almost two hours and I won. I am the champion. Second time ever playing Catan and I won and it was so good. I actually won on a victory point card. So like I um, got, what do you call the card that you draw? There's a, a development card. Oh, a development card. So I, I like paid for a development card and my development card was the last victory point that I needed to win. So it was amazing. <laughs> it was such a good game though. If you guys haven't played Catan, like you have to play it. It's so fun. I'm, I can't wait to play again already, but I couldn't believe that I won. I am so tired. So I'm going to end this here because Chad and I are going to get ready for bed. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.